Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about uh, the first uh, uh, about marine structure. We are in uh, lecture number 16. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to model three different uh, kind, uh, models of uh, marine walls. Uh, in the first uh, model between 2D and 3D, uh, in this uh, model, we will start with a 2D model. As we can see here, this is a key wall. Uh, from uh, blocks this is uh, if we saw that uh, the marine walls is this uh, is consist of the wall itself and the back fill behind it and there is a lot of component but the way we can model any marine walls it can be like this we start to model our marine uh, wall as we can see here this is the concrete uh, blocks uh, they start the construction with adding this uh, backfill and this uh, raft of uh, and this um, and this uh, base of uh, soil uh, which make like uh, a small a small uh, uh, soil uh, with uh, stiff uh, soil so the blocks can rest on it as we can see here like uh, we can uh, model this very easily uh, so we are going to take our model now to Midas GTS NX we are going to open our software we will start with importing our or opening a new model our model will be 2d we are just tackling the marine here and we'll start to import our model 2d here from lecture number 16 and we say apply cancel so this is our marine model we start to create faces so we go to make face and we select this block and we say apply this block or even we can do another thing we select everything here make face we select everything here we say apply or we can select it like this and we can select those here So now we created our model. Uh, the next thing we go to imprint here and we select everything. Curve, we select everything and we select our tools here and we say shorten direction and we say apply. So now we imprinted everything here. We can say here now we can go to mesh and we go to material so our material will be isotropic from concrete and this concrete material will be 2.1 e7 and our unit weight will be 25 and here 25 and say ok then more column material and we will have backfill the backfill material it will be have like 60, uh, uh, 60 megapascal with 18 uh, unit weight it will be 20 saturated and for nonlinear material we add here 2 and here will be 42 because the filling will be from gravel and we add the lengthy angle at 12 and we say this is the backfill 
and we say natural or say silty sand it will be the same material but this will be 40 or we can make it 30 and here because this silty sand will be this layer and this will be 18 and here we're gonna make it like this and land linear parameter will be 32 and this is gonna be 0 and we say apply for this material will be dense sand uh, and the dense sand will be this will be 40 this will be the same stuff here and this will be 35 and 5 degrees and the basic slab here it will we create it from the same material as the backfill so it will be the same so I go now to property and I start to create 2d material the property here will be backfill and it will be backfill base fill and it will be from backfill and sand, then sand and it will come from then sand and silty sand and it comes from silty sand and finally concrete plug and we bring it from concrete now we already made our uh, properties now we go to control seeds and I will have those here and here and here uh, and the size will be 0.25 apply and here and here will be 0.25 apply and here and here and here will be 0.5 and we say apply and here I will just go back again and I will delete the zero layer and I will check duplication in the model first there is nothing here then close so now I will go to mesh again and I will go to control sides and I will choose those and we put it 0.25 and we choose those and we say this is 0.5 and we say apply finally I go now to meshing 2D and I choose this and I say concrete block and say apply that's really bad
so I will go back here again this is 0.25 and say concrete block and we say apply we choose this one and we say this space slab choose this back fill then we choose those and we say 30 sand finally we choose those and we say this is base soil so now first thing you can see here the size of the mesh here or the develop of the size of the mesh we can just say um show all again and we'll go to 2d here and we say this is back uh, backfill but the size of the mesh will be 0 0.5 instead of 0 0.2 and here and here will be 0 0.30 sand and here we will be one which is soil base as we can see here all meshing are connected together and this is because of the imprint and the meshing seat so now this is our model I can go here and show by property so we can see there is a problem here with this one so the base mesh here it is say the base mesh and silty sand it takes the silty sand material and the base takes the built sand so we go here to parameter 2d we choose the base soil base and we make it uh, then sand and apply cancel now if we show this by property as we can see it's already fine now we go to uh, this one and we start to add the load first thing we have to add is the gravity load and we say apply then we go to constraints and we add auto constraints and we say ground and apply finally we go to add life fluid behind the wall here which will be more critical if it's behind it here we can add it on it too and we can put here 10 ton uh, or 5 tons will be 50 uh, uh, kilo newton per meter run apply which this fifth is this 50 you can calculate it or can get it from the marine codes uh, according to the weight of the containers over there you can define the life load so it's very important to go back to this now we can add the fender like because if we went here there are fenders so the fenders is the thing like let's see key wall And if we want here to image, we can see that this is uh, this is the, the element that you tie the ship on it. And if uh, and this is the fender where the where the structure like here we can see it here. This is from rubble, and you can just the, when the ship come and lay. Uh, here uh, or set here it hit here so there is a force here you can get this force and design it there are codes for design uh, this forces so you put it as minus 
uh, 10 kilo newton and it's concentrated load and we'll say this fender load there is another load for if we are pulling the ship which would be more dangerous we call it tie and we will be the same let's make it 10 but it would be in the positive direction and we say apply cancel we already defined everything here now we can go to analysis construction stages and add and we start to add all the mesh uh, first thing we start to add the base here and we can add all the soil we say initial stage at the initial stage we have the base soil if this is we are going to construct this so this is very important to understand how we construct that then this is the ground and this is the gravity load we clear the displacement we define the water table at uh, here like the water table will be at we can define this later but it will be beneath the, ha uh, the cap of the bile cap of the wall so we say save new like wall now we can add the concrete block sorry we can add the concrete block and the, the base slab and we say save then we add the back fill save then we start to add the silty sand save then we start to add the life fluid save then we start to add the tie which is more critical and this is the case I will consider save and finally I will calculate the overall stability save and to check the height of the water the height of the water will be until the cap and beneath the fender here so it will be here until here so we can say we have 21 meters of uh, water height so we go to the initial stage we say 22 we say save cancel now we make it twenty so we go here and we say edit and we make it twenty point five and we say okay close so this is where the ship will set here I can go and add construction stage this is the only case and I start to add automatic consider water table the initial stage for stresses it comes from the initial stage and apply keynote condition and say ok and apply and then we have to add name we say this is run number one and we say apply close now we start to run our problem in lecture 6 we call it 3 and we say save ok we call it 2 we have 3 and we can start to run our problem here
as we can see this is uh, uh, overall stability of the model and we already talked about uh, about that before So we can see the overall stability of our model. It's done. Now we go to view our results. So we can see the overall stability and the factor of safety is 2. But before we look at this, let's go and look at the case of the fin of the of adding all loads. So this is the first case and there is something here if we went here to the slab it's from concrete and that's not correct so we are taking this off and we're going to parameter here and we are changing the concrete like the base slab to soil to base fill and we say apply and run our model again we are about to end now so we are done back this is a factor of safety after we change this from concrete so let's see the total displacement here TY so we didn't need to see this and smooth and deformed so this is the displacement in different cases so this is at the beginning then when we started to add the backfill so at the beginning after uh, when I added the wall so the displacement in millimeter it was 15 millimeter then it increased to 2 when I added the backfill and then it increased after I added the other soil layer then this was the life load and finally this is the overall stability as we can see here we can see here the stresses and the difference between the total stresses and the effective stresses this is the total stresses and this is the effective stresses we can read the maximum values in the concrete block of stresses is 270 so we can judge the uh, concrete capacity like this we can add interface and we can see we can see here the distribution of stresses beneath the here cutting diagram one here one here show it in y direction apply so we can see that the maximum stress here 136 here 272 how about if we added another one here under this page and we increase it to 30 and we say y direction and we say apply so 
this is the first diagram this is the distribution of the load it's up to 150 so we can see that the distribution of this maximum load from 272 to 150 as a maximum value and it's more organized here than here because of the concentration of the load we can add here an interface between the two materials so if we went back here and we added interface between this material and this material here wizard 0.6 and we say ok so as we can see here this is an interface has been developed between both element and we say apply so we already created interface here between both material so we go here to all edit and we add interface here we say save ok and we start to run our model again to see the difference in the results so we can see that our model is working fine there is no problems now we are in the stage so no warning and now when I added interface we can see the factor of safety had decreased to 1 last time was 1 point something and let's see the curves here when we show stresses here now we can see that stresses here has decreased because of the interface and the distribution has become better so it's very important to include interface in your solution even the stresses distribution become more logic let's see the displacement even the displacement here if we saw before there was concentration here in the displacement so here it makes sense now here's the we can see that stresses make sense here same in the same layers let's see the plastic status so those are the points which it is to plasticity like this is the pulp and here between because of the loads life load here there are concentration and stresses and because the difference in stiffness between these two layers so this is considered an idea about the marine work we can see here pore water pressure or pore stress we can see here at this case the overall stability one last run here we will do is to see this is one let's see if we added the fender load here what will happen with the overall stability so we'll go back here and we'll start in this case edit we will take this tie here and we will add fender load instead and we say close and we run this model another time
I believe that there could be difference in here and that we can see that the factor of safety has increased but when you ball the wall there will be uh, there will be uh, there will be more or less factor of safety in real we will have to include interface between the blocks themselves because because they are not attached together so you can make your model more sophisticated I will I will stop with this model at here and I will move to another model the other model I want to create I will start a new uh, model here okay and I will go here and I will start to import but before this I go to the AutoCAD it will be like this this will be like a JT here and I have to copy or make mirrors sorry so this is uh, uh, two jetties here or two walls and the uh, ship will come and lay here between them so we can do maintenance there will be a crane loot here to carry stuff and move them or to carry the boat to make some maintenance so this is another kind of of uh, this is another kind of uh, uh, of marine work we will go here to save as and we save it as DXF and we save it as one and we say save yes we'll go now to our model here and we'll start to import uh, 2d here dxf one and this is our model apply since we are including a crane load this is this problem is a 3d problem because the crane load is concentrated if we see here crane for the keyhole as we can see here it will be like a point loot at different places here as this is our problem uh, we have a key wall here and uh, this is uh, the crane this is the crane it's a close to our problem and like let's look at this one and this is the crane so there will be like a point loot here but imagine if you have uh, like this is a real case and this is a real project if we have like uh, a crane here if we have uh, two GT here and or two key walls and there is a ship will uh, lay between two of them so I will start to add or to create my problem so I will go to geometry now I will make face and this time I will choose here apply and make it more sophisticated so I will choose this and say apply apply I will do the same here we could solve half of this problem and we solve it but we will have to add a specific boundary condition so we're gonna model everything we say apply this is the base slab here to f with soil we say apply so this is our geometry we come here and we start to extrude this one so we go to extrude here and we will extrude everything here like let's say 20 meters we extrude it in this direction we say apply so this will be our 
model here now I will go to auto connect I will go to boolean here and I will choose everything and I say apply then I will go to material and I will import the same material I did with the other one I will import those four here and say ok close and actually we learned that we don't do this we delete those and we go to property and we import them because they will import the material with them and we say ok here and we already got them here we go to 3d here and we choose everything here and we say divide them to 1.3 fine hybrid like 1 meter and we say hybrid mesh ready yes that's wrong because those are 2d problems so we can't recognize them so we go to create 3d say back fill we say then send we say salty sand we don't need this then we concrete we say this is block and basis slab would be from backfill and salty sand here would be for the rest of anything now I go to 3d and I select those and I say one meter hybrid of block and I say block I say apply hide show all show So we choose this one and we mesh it into one meter hybrid and would be from backfill and we say apply. We can see all meshes are connected together, those will be silty sand, silty sand we say apply and this will be from 3 meters and this will be then sand and then sand and we say apply so this will be our problem here we can here show by property and we can see that all nodes are connected together now I will go here and I will start to add constraints and I go to Utu and I say ground and I go here to uh, self weight and I add gravity here there is no life load there will be just crane load you design your crane load let's say one will be here and here and one here and the other one will be there and it will be in y direction and z direction so there is 100 100 kilonewton here and third of this in this direction and we say crane 
load so again we choose this and this one and we can show sorry and um, Z because we are working in 3D now And x will be 30 and we say apply and here and here this will be minus 30 minus I remember I understand now why and we say apply here for the other if we went here to analysis static load crane load force first force here this should be minus and we say apply so this is our crane load will be like this so for construction stages it will be like this we will go here add construction stage and we add all the meshing but before this we can go here and we start to add interface so we will add interface here between this and this and we say wizard 0.6 and we say apply and we say apply show me the interface element so if we came here and we show the plane interface we can see that here so we'll have to delete this because it's between concrete and concrete and it's not the reduction is not 0.6 so I can go to to delete and I choose those and I say apply so this is now the interface between both if I came here now and I decided to add edit and I say initial stage and at this case I add this and say show me the active I can come here and active everything I don't add the plan interface here and I add the basis lab Let's say save base soil base fill. Now we go back here and we modify this to base fill and we say clear displacement 
and water level here at let's say 20 next stage we add the blocks then next uh, yes next stage I add the crane load save and the first stage I add the ground constraints and the gravity and I say save close then I come and analysis and I add analysis construction stage and say run one run one automatic consider k node we already know all of this stuff now okay and you start to run your analysis and run for it will take time because this is a 3d problem after it done you can just view the result and see the displacement and see everything here the displacement is zero I will not finish this run because it will take time you just need to know the idea behind this now the final model is to create a sheet pile behind uh, here and it will be like two layers of sheet piles last model we are going to talk about it today which is a 3d model we will start a new model here and let's see this is a model we are going to create now it's considered a 3d model and it's not a key wall it's gonna be uh, a sheet pile model so uh, we are going to create this now it's like dredging in marines and instead of the key wall there will be like two layers of uh, sheet pile the front sheet pile and the back sheet pile this is the front sheet pile and this is the dredging parts like stages of dredging and installing the sheet pile here and the for front and the back sheet pile will be supported together through a concrete slab So, um, throw a concrete slab. So, we will start our model here uh, by creating this uh, domain. So, we will go here to geometry and I will start to move my work plane here, as we can see. This model domain will be. here it's 50 meters by 25 meters so we will go here and we'll start to create um, here the first point will be at uh, minus 25 and and minus 25 and the other one will be 50 and 25 so this is my rectangular here 
I can just come here and create face choose everything and apply this will be my domain now so I will start as we can see here this will be like two layers the depth of the sheet pile here as we can see as uh, 12 meters so I will do the same here so I will go here and I will start to move or I can just come here and I start to extrude now so I will go here to extrude this in this direction like 20 meters and say apply now I will hide this and I will start to uh, create polyline here 3d make face and I will come here and create the first face so I will start to translate this in this direction 12 meters now I will translate it to minus 20 and this is the direction and we say apply then we hide this one and we come here and we go to do this we create this line in the middle and we say extrude uh, edge and we say the direction will be this direction and we say 30 meters say apply and last, last thing we can do here is this will be the part we will dredge it will be 12 like we will dredging um, or we are cutting here this area into it's two, 2 meters like divide it into 2 meters so I will come here and I will transfer the work to XY direction and I will choose this and make face and from this point to this point I come here and I go to translate one more time and I I say choose face and I say translate this two times five times and I say apply then I come here and I say go to divide and I select this solid and the tools are these are the tools and we say these are the tools and we say apply we can do this one time so I'm, com I'm going to do this first and I say apply then I choose this one and I choose the tools to be this one and I say apply then I choose this one and I choose the tools to be those and I say 
I choose this one I choose those are the tools and I say apply so we can see those are this is my model right now uh, I will say that uh, there will be filling here in between this sheet pile and the back sheet pile will be 6 meters so I will come here and I will hide those faces I will just come here now and I will say translate translate face I can't so I will come here and say hide 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 so I come here and I say pull line 3d and I choose this and make face and I say translate in this direction select this face and I say 6 meters in the back could be more like let's make it 10 meters and we say apply so I go here to divide this solid by this tool so last thing I can do here because this I will increase the length behind here so how can I do this Mm, there is a way we can just come here we can come here and we create a body line here make face in the 3d make face here the same now we go to extrude this face in this direction let's say this is 10 meters we say another 10 meters in and we say C is it enough we can make it 15 15 is good enough we can now go here to boolean and we say fuse and merge faces and we say apply we can fuse and we say apply or we can just fuse and merge faces the same here apply as we can see now we are going to go here and make auto connect so we connect everything together boolean apply so now we are going now to save our model 
model 5 and now we are going to go here to mesh and create element we can even import the same material from the other model and we say ok but here there is no plugs and here there are 2D element for the sheet pile it will be shell on sheet or front sheet pile and its thickness will be 0 0.6 meter and it's not from concrete it's gonna be from steel so we are going to add a material we can see we can go like when you start to handle this software you're gonna be very fast and you can be do a lot of stuff here in a very fast way 7 8 and the bars will be 7 8 and we say okay this is our steel now we already have one so we can just say steel and we say apply and the back one will be from steel and its thickness will be four and we will add slab to connect between both of them and we make it it's from concrete and its thickness will be 0 0.5 and we say apply so this will uh, could be our uh, properties until we need one now we can go here and we can just we can just mesh all of our problem we can select everything we make the size for everything to be 2 meters or 3 meters let's make them 2 and we select everything from hybrid and we say apply so we can see here that all nodes are connected together and we have no problem even he doesn't feel this cut in the geometry like this is our meshing here and it seems very good so we go here and this is dredging one we call it d1 and this is d2 this is d3 and this is d4 8 meter excavation let's make it 8 meter excavation as we can see here like we excavated 8 meters or we dredged 8 meters and then after this this will be we will merge those together yes and this will be um, embedment depth and this is gonna be filling and this will be base and finally this is gonna be back now we go to parameter and we show everything so all of this will be 3d all of this will be 30 sand and we say apply and this will be uh, then sand and we say apply we go here now to create interface 
between this material or here in this area and we call it plan interface not yet we have to extract our sheet pile so we will hide our dredging and embedment here and we say extract here so we extracting 2d face so we can just show the solids here and we hide those and we go here extract again from face and we choose this face and we say front sheet sheet pile and we say apply and this is slab and we can hide the back here and we'll choose this and we we'll call this pack sheet pile and we say apply so for the front and for the back the property is wrong so we'll go to parameters and we choose pack uh, 2d we choose the back here and we we'll call it pack we we'll choose the front we we'll call it front and cancel then we go to interface element and interface plan from shell and both direction and select element we choose our front and we say back or this is front interface and we already selected property we make the reduction 0.6 okay and we create rigid link it's very important and um, let's merge the nodes as well so So um, we are creating this one so I come here to select nodes and we say apply so we already created this one we now go and hide this one and show the back select and we say back and wizard 0.6 okay and rigid link and merge nodes so we select this one we merge these nodes from both direction and we say apply cancel now we already have all of our problem is ready I save my model and last thing I will add here is live flute no 
uh, we haven't changed the property of the filling yet so I am going here to go to change uh, property and for the filling here and I will use backfill and say backfill and cancel then I will add constraints here and it's gonna be O2 and I'm gonna call it ground and finally I will add I will dredge this everything here and I will bring the front and the back sheet pile and we have to add some constraints here to constrain them in both directions so I'm going to make them like this and I will choose everything and I go to constraints and I will start to constrain them uh, uh, not to rotate or to be rigid everywhere so and it will be sheet pile rotation around here and here and we say apply so it's like they are fixed at this point we say close now our model is ready because this is extended in the pose direction last thing we do we add life load here so I come here and say pressure and I show solids and I say life load so life load here will be on this face we can choose face and it will be 100 or 50 kilonewton per meter square and I say apply cancel then you can add crane load you can add any other load you want it's fine but now I can go here okay let's add this so if we added the crane load let's go to remove all the dredging stuff so we don't need any dredging remove all rigid link and slabs we leave the boundary condition so this is the filling here as we can see we can add load here as a tie one at this point and one at this point and it will consider tying it will be an and uh, minus x direction it will be minus 10 minus 50 and we say apply so this is uh, for tying and for the pulling of the ships so we already added everything we didn't add the self weight yet so here is the gravity load now we go to construction stages add and we'll go here first thing we will add the dredging we'll go back here again one more time 
so this is our model we'll add here the filling we'll add the back the base and the back so this is our ground and we add the ground boundary condition and the gravity and we add here the water table at we clear the displacement we add the water table at uh, minus uh, 3 minus 2 and we say save so as we can see this is the initial condition this is the beginning initial stage save then we say new at this stage we will start to add the but at this stage don't forget to add the rigid link here and the rigid link here save don't forget this this is really important then after this I go to install back sheet pile and front sheet pile and I add the interface the back and the front interface but at the same time I remove those and add the black uh, the back and the front interface and I will install the slab so where is the slab here and we say save and we add the rotation here of the sheet pile and we say save then new here I start to add after I add the rotation and after I add, here I start for dredging one and deactivate this one new d name d2 save new d3 save new d4 save and I go to this one we deactivate it save this one we deactivate it save and this one we deactivate it okay this one we call it structure save so now we're already reach it to this deck uh, dredging 2 we call this life fluid save and new we call this tie save and we go up here and when we add the structure we add a new one here and we move it back to B3 we add here we call this filling save and we add the boundary condition for the backfill and the slab and we remove the slab from here then close let's revise this first thing this is a rigid link we remove the rigid link and install our uh, install our uh, install our problem uh, install our structure uh, then we in, uh, add the slab and rigid link and the uh, filling then dredging one two three four and finally the load and finally the tie we can add another case here and we call it SRM strength reduction method and to check the stability of everything here and say close and we start to go here analysis and we start to analyze our problem in construction stage and we call it run one at this stage automatic water pressure initiate k node and say okay 
apply cancel and this is our model now we can start to run our model this is a very big model and it will take a long time according to your computer to be solved but as we can see here it's working pretty good so this is for dredging too now uh, this is dredging 3 and we don't have any problem with our model yet this is dredging 4 now we are adding the life load no problem now we are adding the tie no problem and last, the pro last thing that strength reduction method in 3D and this will take a bit longer and we are done with our model here we can start to view our results we can see this is uh, this is a factor of safety here is one and we can look here at the settlement from all cases as we can see here and this is the beginning now we started to install our sheet pile we can see the maximum settlement and dredging life load tying and we reach to the last case here we can see the failure will have in here if we went to auto range so the failure will happen in this line as we can see we can go here to ISO and we can take if we want a strip we can go here and we can show the maximum displacement and we can show here uh, the shell forces like the bending moment if I went here and I remove the, the uh, hide everything for example this is the front sheet pile as we can see here and this is auto range we can come here and make like a cut 40 nodes and we can draw the moment so you can just add you can just add uh, whatever you want here is a cutting diagram in this side or in this side and you can check the stability of your sheet pile here's this uh, the, uh, the maximum and the minimum movement it's in uh, so this is a, uh, this is a bending moment so you can show the displacement here too so this is a displacement and the deformation of the sheet pile you can just draw a diagram here from this point to this point and show me an x direction so this is the 
the formation of the sheet pile and you can see a lot of results here uh, you already uh, know enough now to model anything you want so I will stop this uh, model at this point and I will stop this lecture at this point so uh, or uh, we'll have one more lecture about uh, how to calculate the bearing capacity so see you next lecture thank you